Oh no. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying to get him to poo poo a little bit more so we can change the diaper. I think he's trying to poo poo and pee pee. I'm actually about to head out. I'm going to see my doctor. I don't think this is the postpartum check. I think it might be the blood, pe blood test again. I'm not sure. Uh, but I am going alone because Tone is off today. But um, he has this uh, class to take for his work and he really can't miss it. So he's going to be home watching the baby and I'm, I'm just gonna go alone. It's been almost three weeks while well, we're getting there. So I looked up if it's okay for me to drive and apparently there's no like, specific time frame that you know after vaginal delivery you could drive, like when you could drive or not. Um, I think it depends on each person, how much pain you still feel, are you still on the medication or all that. Um, so I am not taking any medications besides prenatal, which reminds me I have to take one today. I don't take any medications. I feel great. I know, poo-poo, poo-poo, poo-poo everything. So I should be able to, I should be okay. And I Hello everyone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was like the best drive of my life. I just got my coffee. I got some latte. I'm not gonna drink all of it because I, I mean, I feel like this is like 80% cream, so there's not much caffeine in here. But um, yeah, I just probably won't try to drink all of it. You know, I love my drives alone with my K-pop and my coffee. Holy crap, that was like the best, like, I don't know, 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> um, It felt great. I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love my baby, I love Aiden, I love Ame, I love Tong, but man, maybe I really needed this. It just felt so great. I was just like singing out loud and just not thinking about anything. It was very stress relieving. I am finally here at the hospital. Um, a little early, but that's good. Uh, like I said, I don't really know what today's appointment is about because I know my postpartum one should be a month after and it hasn't been a month. So I'm assuming it's going to be a very quick visit so i didn't bring my uh cushion i didn't bring my donut seat for driving but it did not bother me at all i should feel pretty good um a lot of you guys might be like oh my gosh you can't wear makeup because i heard i heard mixed um opinions on wearing makeup like even like during pregnancy uh during delivery some women like to wear makeup and i don't think there's anything wrong with it while they're delivering the baby like i heard mixed opinions on makeup before six months you know, after you have the baby but some people say it doesn't matter just wear whenever you want so i don't know i decided to wear just today obviously i'm going to take it off when i am fully taking care of aiden again today but i don't know i felt great to wear makeup and i I, it just felt great. It came back. I am done with the checkup. Like, like I said, or like I assumed, it was a very, very quick checkup. So my blood pressure is high, but it's normal uh, for someone who just delivered a baby. The doctor said it should be back to normal in by six weeks. So she said everything looks good. Um, she said, and she said I should be back to my normal activities. She said nothing in the vagina. I'm like, no, no one's coming near my vagina for a long time. So I have my next appointment in a month. Um, but she said everything looks good. I think that their main concern was my blood pressure and how I was feeling. Obviously, if I'm going through any depression, you know, postpartum depression or baby blues and all that. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm laughing a lot. Are you doing tummy time? It's time for burpee time. <laughs> but you're doing something else. <laughs> you get distracted. Baby. I hope you wait in. Distant from you. <laughs> this is my 
my downtime just to watch him. He, he woke up earlier than his next feeding. So I changed his diaper. He had a poo poo. And it didn't seem like he was hungry or he was gonna sleep. So I decided to put him on the lounger and give him this uh, play gym. It's definitely entertaining him. <laughs> it's entertaining for me too. He probably are, is not doing this on purpose, but he oh. keeps like like waving this, bless you, waving this hand, and he keeps hitting this elephant. We are just on the fairground, so I'm looking into getting a playpen. So I don't know if I'm going to get those like just like a gated playpen or or you know those like a smaller one that's foldable. It comes with like a diaper changing area and like a sleeping area as well, like in one go. So maybe I'll get that. I don't know. Hi, yes, I'm talking about you. Um, so it's something that I'm gonna talk to Tom about what he thinks because um we're just every corner of this house is full right now um if we do decide to get the bigger playpen then we have to get rid of our dining table or Tong's workout area i'd rather get rid of a dining table because we barely eat at home and when we do it's like once or twice a week and usually i'm just eating alone and i don't really need a dining table so, um, yeah, we'll see. I think the playpen, the bigger playpen is better because um, then I could put other toys there and then he could just kind of like keep circling. We'll see. Hey everyone, it's 8.20, whoa. I swear, last time I stood here it was 8 o'clock. It, it, it does not feel like 20 minutes has passed, but I wanted to show you guys this product. So I bought this little like a paddle leaf cushion for bath, for Aiden's bath. We have this bathtub that our friend gave us, but obviously it's too big. And other than uh, getting water in here, it's really like not practical for us. Like he can't even sit straight cause you know, he can't even keep his neck up. So I saw this on Amazon, I got it and it's amazing. Uh, he doesn't slide it's cushiony he could just i don't need to hold him while i'm like rinsing him or like wiping his hair and whatnot so this part of is amazing i love it and I, I love this color it's so cute i wanted to take a photo but i was doing this alone and i didn't want to like risk anything so i couldn't and next time i wash him with tom then i'll show you guys my pump parts are I should get it ready. I have to pump in like an hour or so. I am thinking about weaning. I am thinking about slowly reducing my pumping session and transition into full formula. When Tom was off for his paternity leave for two weeks, it was okay. I'm like, this is a little hard, but it's doable. But once he went back to work, it's just really hard to even sit down for 15 minutes and pump when I'm supposed to pump. Like, of course, when I have the time, then I'm not ready to pump yet. So it just like, the schedule really didn't work whenever I, I was ready to like get the milk out, like either Aiden needs me or Amin needs me. It's just so stressful. <laughs> and like, honestly, ever since like Tom, when, whenever Tom's not here, it's hard for me to pump more than like seven minutes. So I've been just reducing, I've been doing, I think I was like reaching five ounces, but I'm like back to three ounce to four ounce. It, it depends. It's getting pretty stressful. I'm not going to the like cold turkey. I don't even think you're supposed to. So I'm like slowly but surely reducing and gonna fully go into formula. Um, again, washing the parts 
pumping parts, bottles, it's not an issue for me. I got used to it. It's really not that bad. It doesn't take up that much time. But it's just that getting, just sitting down and just that 15 minutes, it just seems impossible. So um, that's the plan right now. I wanted to keep doing it for, you know, obviously my benefits um, and Aiden's benefit. We'll see. We'll see how far I could do this. But I almost felt, I told my friend the other day, like I almost feel embarrassed that I can't even last three months of pumping. I'm not even breastfeeding, I'm pumping. But man, I can't, like my goal right now is finishing one month of pumping. And it's, I feel a little embarrassed, but um, it's hard. It's, yeah, it's definitely hard. And like, so funny, like that when I was pregnant and I was like, deciding what am I gonna like do formula am I gonna do breastfeed or whatever I'm like I'm going to exclusively pump for at least six months maybe I'll do a year yeah right <laughs> okay but last a freaking month but yeah uh baby is sleeping I'm mean, sleeping Tom should be home in like a few hours um I did drink some coffee <laughs> past few days Aiden has been awake during this hour having the cluster feeding I don't know if it's a bath that kind of like relaxed him but he drank a little or he I fed him a little bit and then he's passed out um, so I don't know if he's going to have the cluster feeding a little later or if he's done I'm not sure but fingers crossed ah uh, this is lukewarm coffee but it never tasted better <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog uh next one is going to be i'm planning on staying at my parents for a few days soon so i'm pretty sure my next vlog is a, it's going to be about that i have a lot of shit to pack so maybe that will be a full video the stuff that i'm gonna bring <laughs> probably like a luggage um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys next time. If there's anything that you guys want to see or questions on, please let me know and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.